and 20 minutes later we're going to the beach because it's sunny again it's like super <laughs> super hot look at this it's insane the uh change in weather and i love it tang yungan beach wow wow, wow. hola <laughs> like the most paradise you can't do i think yeah <laughs> but i think with the um the swell that came in you have a lot of uh, crap on yeah the beach and then we have the sun goddess and the businessman. Oh, Yanni, you're gonna burn. So Yanni just going for it. Like she's going all you. in today. <laughs> nothing has happened so far. So I'm like, I have to really go Oof. for it. Okay, wait until tonight. Yeah, it's this gonna is... be exciting. <laughs> we shot the rain up in the house, and then we're here an hour later, and it's sunny. Yes. Which, yeah. No wind. Unbelievable. Which is why. I Whoa, like it's the warm. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Cheers, Jacob. Cheers. Cheers, Ella. Cheers, Yun. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Yanni. Bon appétit. Yummy. Bon appétit. Merci. Merci. And we're back at Tampa Hills. Look at the road There's now. There's a road. Proper, proper road. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it's a bit different from the mud road we slid down last time. And it's green. It's full rainforest. Like the amount of greenness right now. To be a construction road, this road is really nice. Yeah. And after they're making it nicer. Look at this. All that you see here is all Tampa Hills. And we have arrived. And the mission today is to meet Alejandro, the architect, and have a look at the lot and try to figure out what to build there. The hard thing is you can build anything and you can't fail. So it makes choosing kind of hard because you have all the possibilities in the world. Yes. Ah. This is the whole plateau. Wow, it's green. That's the first time we see it in green. Wow. And there you see the machine. Building of the ah. first house has actually begun. The plateau. What's it called? Villa... Sheng. Villa, yeah, but the name of the villa is different. Ah. Sheng, fellow YouTube colleague, beat us to it and it's building first. Yes. They're better at making up their minds on what to do. It's good. We got a strong YouTube community. Okay. The plateau here is, is pretty big. Yes. I can wow. hardly recognize myself. No, me neither. Hold on, let me go out to the pool. Imagine we're sitting in the pool here, waking up to the sound of breaking waves. It's pretty big out there. Wow! Today. And we have Benny's right over there. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna keep saying that, so maybe the name sticks. I'm chilling in the pool right here. Just the sound of the waves here, because you have no other sound than some birds and the sound of the waves. Absolutely, it's insane. So we're right here, we're exactly 100 meters over sea level. The next house is gonna be on see the ridge all the way down. Yeah. So between here and the plateau there, it's nothing. No. So. The whole hill is we have 3,000 square meters here. Okay. What a cold yes, day yes, we yes, picked. Look at, yes, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you? Good. Hello, hey. How are you? Nice Good to meet time. you. I mean, nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we're saying it's the first time we see Tampa when it's green. Every yes, time nice, we've yeah. come, it's been uh, the difference. end of the dry season. But nice I've, place, I, no, guys? Yeah. yeah. I, I've kind of given up trying to think about what to do because there's too many options. <laughs> I knew you were going to So I just leave. <laughs> Normally when you have limitations, you can at least figure out what to do. But when you have no limitations, yeah. it makes it difficult. I think it's going to be one of the few plots that only you get sunrise and sunset. Ah. No, we, we were saying that maybe sleeping on this side to have a bit more dark in the morning. And then living and pool. Yeah. And voila. I mean, I've, I've seen you? everything he does. and, and uh, Trust me. I shouldn't. So yeah. go for it. <laughs> I don't yeah. trust very many people. You can ask these guys. <laughs> what do you think about pool level height? Well, when I was thinking about this piece of land, I also was thinking about the pool going all the way through the house rather than having like a big pool. Yeah. So I was thinking, why not, you know, the house, the pool, organize the house, you know? Yeah. And then we like, just because the house, here you need sight and then you need water. And yeah. then you, yeah. and you can tell by being five minutes here, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, let's go, let's go to the shade. It's yeah. Like we're gonna go hide in the shade. <laughs> we'll see what we come oh, up with, okay. but it, it's difficult when you have so many opportunities. We'll put a link in the description to the things uh, Alejandro has done. And you understand, because everything is just, Cold, cold water! Cold, 
29 degree water. I can consider this as my home beach. When the tide is coming in and out, you have all the water coming in, then it all goes this way and out through the channel. Meaning it stays clean and clear in, huh? inside here. And this is how clear it is. Like out there, it's pretty good today. I've been watching breaks, snorkeling, surfing, surfing, snorkeling, beach. I think you said the beach is two kilometers, right? And then house on the hill right there. But now I'm gonna go have a coconut. Yes. Cheers guys. A coconut cheers. Coco cheers. Coco cheers. Nice spot by the way. It's okay. Right? <laughs> it's warm. You see these? We sent them a picture of ours in Marbella and this is what they built. Okay. Wow. So sick. Like the construction of this is pretty impressive. Wow, wow, wow. Details are important. When you have coconuts you should really have an umbrella like this. Coco Brella. Might say uh, on my bio on Instagram, former professional skier, YouTuber, entrepreneur, now living in Lombok. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> no, we like to live a bit of everywhere, but I do want to spend a lot more time here. And when you have a house up there on the hill, that's going to make it very hard to leave. You know that there is actually a uh, bamboo plant here that grows a meter per day. A meter per day. Per day. A meter per day, it's the fastest growing plant in the world, I think you said. When you can make a time lapse in one day and see a plant grow. Wow, wow. Uh, but basically, to conclude, it's incredible. I can't decide how to do it. I'm gonna just give it to Alejandro and let him do his thing. That's Good kind idea. of what we figured out today. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. One more cheers. Barefoot it is. Yeah, I go barefoot as well. Barefoot, team barefoot. You're going barefoot too. If I'm going barefoot, you're going barefoot. Of course. Barefoot. Everyone barefoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barefoot. Last time we were here, team Tampa. we got really inspired because one of the things that Tampa works a lot with is sustainability and making sure that you take care of the environment and plastic on it. So we have organized a beach cleanup. We're at the back. Maybe this is the key for my back because uh, bumpy roads for my back is not so good. But maybe if I just ride standing up the whole way all the time. <laughs> Did a pickup truck. <laughs> I was like, this is a spiky thing. I don't ah, yeah, all good. This, I would say, is a Lombok life to find. Hello. 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 Yanni? Hey, Roger. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey. Yun, nice Yon. to meet you. Tilda. Nice meeting you. Tilda. And right. Benjamin. Hey. Nice hey, to meet you. Welcome to Lombok. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. It's beautiful, but there is a lot of waste there. Yeah. <laughs> So you know that life is always a competition, right? Yeah. Whoever can fill a bag first... Oh my god. ...wins something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this beach needs some love. No one's giving this a, the beach the love it deserves. Yeah, this beach is now gonna look like at the Tampa beach after. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's crazy how this has so much and Tampa has nothing. nothing. So we are doing a beach cleanup here to show people that some beaches around the world get a lot of plastic from the ocean. This is one beach in Lombok that gets a lot of plastic because the current. We have Roger here from the organization Making Oceans Plastic Free. We'll have a cooperation with, together with Tampa, where we will auction out a lot in Tampa and all the money for that lot will go into the organization for plastic education. Now we're gonna clean this beach. Now we're gonna compete who can fill one of these first. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone is ready. Even the kids are ready behind. Yes. We start from the rocks and work our way here. Okay. All right. All right. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. I won't slow down. Cause I am on my way. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down I am on my way oh, I won't slow down mm. How is it up here? Woo! The solid hour we made it 5 meters Shit I think 3 or 4 plastic bags Yeah 
and I figured out that if I sit in the water, it's much better for my back. And it's kind of like gold mining, because the water kind of makes it float, so then you just grab this, you don't get a bunch of the, the other stuff. Ah, but okay. it makes me never want to ever see a plastic bag again. I agree completely. The only problem I had was that I was really enjoying sitting down until I think like a plastic fish bit me on my balls. <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> I was like, yeah! <laughs> Good initiative. Good job. Dirty initiative. So what's the estimation? How much did we get? Uh, probably 250 kilos, so a quarter ton. We started an hour and a half. Two yeah. hours, yeah. Two hours, yeah. Yeah, two hours and 25 people. Yeah. Good job. We, we See get... what you can do, the guys. So you find different different types of plastic, and uh, I think the biggest category was plastic wrappings. So this one, those colorful ones. So this is like wrappings of food items. 37%. Then maybe we go to the next one. These are plastic cups. That's one of the top three. This is the hard plastic, 7%. Now this is plastic bags. Plastic bags is the second largest group and like 25%. And uh, here we have plastic straws, 15%. This is just like other ways. We have, for example, light bulbs. Uh, we have a lighter. And then last category, flip-flops. It's always surprising how many flip-flops one finds. Is there one that fits me actually? Maybe this one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can find Looks a right good too. <laughs> Half of the ways is actually very easy to avoid. For straws, plastic bags and uh, plastic cups or bottles, that's a pretty easy way to avoid that. And if you look at this waste pie chart, you see that's almost half of it. Good job. Good job you too. High five to everybody. Yeah. Yes. Before we stop wrecking, I was going to say we need to uh, hurry up and clean up and go back because Yanni is promoting. Uh, <laughs> what? Yanni is recording another podcast, so and we that. are promoting that huh? because me and Mr. <laughs> Big Mark we're going to be in Yanni and Michaela's podcast. So if yeah. you haven't seen it, check it out in the description. If you haven't heard it, there's yeah. nothing heard. to see. Called, you know what I mean? It's called Two of a Kind, and it is in Swedish. So to all your Swedes out there, check it out. Everyone else, sorry, it's not in English. But you can learn Swedish while listening to it. Benny loves it. It's his yeah, favorite. It's Absolutely love it. The voice are incredible. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. A good job. Oh. Today, we're keeping it real short because we have all these boards and board bags and we are gonna jump on a flight, well, three flights in the morning to get somewhere really, really, really remote. Yes. Are we allowed to say where we're going? No, absolutely. We're, we're going out in the Indonesian wild. That's what we're saying. Going on a boat in a very paradisey place, but it's so paradisey that we can't say that we're, where we're going. So this means a lot of packing and we gotta upload everything really quick before we go so we'll be 10 days on a boat no internet no uh cell phone service no nothing so that'll create a bit of a tweak to the publishing so then it'll be two weeks coming out we'll put the info in the description because i'm not smart enough when i don't have a calendar but it'll be a whole bunch of paradise coming out because i don't even know where we're going really but you know where we're going <laughs> you have been here <laughs> it's sweet i like adventures and i like adventures to places that i haven't been it's gonna be sweet. Yes. So with that, we're ending this first little part of uh, our Lombok visit, and we're gonna continue with real deep adventures. Yes. <laughs> See you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. We enjoyed because we're in Lombok. We can't not enjoy. Look at this. Impossible. Ah, and we finished with the prey. Thanks for the prey. <laughs>